Uh, and the green is here. It doesn't have to go all over. It's just good morning. Good morning. Okay, I'm hearing something like sound for musicians is on. I hope you all can hear me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm Diane. Welcome to Chair Yoga. Uh, we will be exercising to relieve tension for body, soul, and mind. And so we hope you have a very lovely session that get you ready and centered for the rest of your day. Down, 
feet together and we're going to slide down the legs and hand out here for a, lot, a while. We're going to breathe in and out five times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now palms facing each other. Feet slightly more apart. Arms straight ahead. And we're going to lift into chair pose. Up. Hold. Two. Three. Four. Exhale. Down. Two. Three. Four. Inhale. Up. Two. Three. Four. Exhale. Down. Two. Three. Four. Inhale. Up. Two. Three. Four. Exhale. Down. Two. Three. Four. Slide up. Arms out to the side. Flip the palms up. Inhale. Now we're going to be stretching shoulders here. Touch one palm to the other. Feeling the stretch in the shoulder area. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, other arm. Exhale. As you reach for the other palm, you may not make it all the way, especially if your arms are not long, but you want that reach. That's what we're aiming for, to get the shoulders loose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Flip the palms down. digestion a little bit. So we're going to be working in this area. We take both hands on the side of the chair arm. We inhale and as you exhale, twist into the back of the chair. Pull the stomach against the spine. Inhale. One, two, three. Exhale. One,
bring it back up. Inhale, exhale, bend, pound the floor, come back up. Inhale, exhale, and come back up. All right, now we're going to take those elbows and we are going to press back. Make the shoulder blades try to touch each other, releasing tension in the shoulder blade area. And inhale, pull back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, now this time you are going to press the palms out away from you. Take them to the back wall and press one two, three, four, flip the hands up, and come back down into prayer hand position. All right, now again, we are going to go into goddess pose, wide legs, up on the toes, middle finger and thumb together. We inhale, Exhale, bring the elbow to the knee. All right, now, bring one set of fingers into the other. We're going into pigeon pose. Lift the outside elbow and hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale, down, two, three, four. Inhale, lift the elbow in pigeon pose. One, two, three, four. Exhale, down, two, three, four. Last one, inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale, down, two, three, four. Inhale, slide up to center position. Um, I'll come up close to the screen here so our virtual viewers can see what I'm doing. I'm just placing one set of fingers, tips on top of the other, and then close. Uh, and that's uh, for the pigeon pose. All right, now we're going to go to the other side. So again, the legs are out, you're up on the toes. We start here. Open out, middle finger and thumb together, exhale, now bring your fingertips inside the other hand, lift the elbow, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, down, two, three, Inhale, lift, one, two, three. Exhale, down, two, three. Last one, inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, down, two, three. Okay, it looks good, slide up. Inhale, up, exhale, down. All right, now we're going to try our pencil pose. So uh, best to get on the edge of the seat for this one. Place the hands under one thigh, lift. Bring the hand on the ankle. Bring the leg into the chest. Sit up straight. Take the arm out, wrap it around. And inhale. One, two, three, exhale, down, two, three, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, down, two, three, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, down, two, three, hand underneath the thigh, stretch the leg out, flex the foot, feel 
feeling the stretch all along the bottom side of the leg. And exhale back. Let's try pencil pose on the other side now. Hands underneath, we lift. We place the hand on the ankle to bring the knee into the chest. Release the other arm, grab it around and hold it. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, down, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, down, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, down, two, three. Hand under the leg, stretch the leg out, flex the foot, feel the stretch, and bring it down. And we're going to work a little more on those hamstrings. So we'll place one heel on the floor. The toe is facing up. We take the arm back, lift, and exhale as you reach past the toe, feeling the stretch. Slide up, and again, arm back to front, inhale, exhale, reach a little further if you can, and again, inhale up, and let's see how far we can reach past the toe, and slide back to center position, other leg, heel down, toe up, Inhale, up, exhale, reach past the toe. Slide up, inhale, exhale. Slide up, last one, inhale, Exhale. And come back to center position. Inhale up. And exhale down. All right, so now we're going to do um, some warrior pose variations. So I will start seated and then we'll do a couple standing. So we're going to turn completely sideways in the chair. Take the outside leg, and you can place it here if this is too much on the hip flexor, or you can take it back a little further to stretch the front of the hip flexor. It's up to you. All right, we're going to inhale, raise one arm up. Now relax that shoulder down. We don't want the shoulder up to the ear like that. We want it down. All right. Raise the other one up and hold in warrior one. All right. Now we lean toward the back of the chair slightly. Inhale back to center position. Exhale, lean away slightly from the back of the chair. This is so good for all of the stomach muscles. Bring it back to center. We're going to do that again. Lean toward the chair. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, away from the back of the chair. It's just a slight bend, nothing huge but it engages a lot of muscles. All right, now one hand on the chair and we're going to circle, exhale, and really reach in each position. Exhale, reach, back, up, front, and reverse it. Front, up, back, and down. Front, up, back, and down. Front up, back, and down. Very good. All right, let's turn to the 
other side. And we will take the outside leg in whatever position is comfortable for you. If you want to feel the stretch here, fine. If that's too much, bring the foot in closer. Raise the arm. Relax the shoulder down. Take the other arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Bend slightly toward the back of the chair. Inhale up to center. Bend slightly away as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to center position. One hand on the chair arm. Drop the arm. Reach, 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 reach. Circling around. And two. And three. All right, let's reverse it. Reach forward, up, back, and down. Nice and slow. Up, back, and down, and lift. Up, back, and down. All right, so now we're going to stand, and we will place one foot against the chair leg. Now, um, you may want to come to the back for this and place the, the leg here and this foot forward so that you can brace yourself here as you bend over. This is not going to be as much of a bend, but it's a safe position for those of you that aren't ready for the other. All right, so the rest of us, we're going to try coming here, brace the foot against the chair leg. Foot is turned out. We take the other foot that is straight ahead. There's a distance there. Heels are even. All right, now we're going to place the hand, palm facing away from you here. We're going to bend the knee, and we slide down to wherever you can get. You ideally want to come to the middle of the arch. Now, for some of you, it may be the ankle, the calf, or even the thigh as you bend over. And exhale down. Now, for those of you that are going to be behind the chair, <clears throat> we place that foot again, turning it out, place the other one here, and we simply just bend to the side. And come up. Right, then we're going to do the other leg. So again, if you want more support, stand behind the chair, place the other foot forward, and bend to the side. Inhale up, exhale down. <laughs> now if that's more comfortable for you, remain there, or we can place the foot in front, turned out, the other foot is straight ahead, heels are even, <clears throat> palm faces away from the body, we bend the knee, we slide down the inside to wherever you can go, it might be here. Now one of the things you want to watch for is that you do not cave in the chest area to do this. You want to remain uplifted. So if you can only get to here while this chest is lifted up, that's fine. 
you work toward these poses. All right, if you can go a little further down, maybe toward the knee while keeping the chest lifted, good, much improved, and slide down, calf, ankle, foot. slide up. This one took me three years to get. Uh, when I was working in corporate America behind a desk, I couldn't get this far. Uh, so these things take a long time. Uh, you work toward them the best you can. As I said, our modification would be to be behind the chair to protect the body. You do not want to overstretch the body into a position that it's not ready for yet. All right, so we have done that warrior variation. All right, now we're going to do a variation on warrior three. You can do this seated or standing. I will demo it seated position. All right, we're going to first warrior three. Exhale, inhale up, and we're going to go into lion's breath, bend the elbows, palms are facing out, you're going to exhale back of the throat like you're fogging a window. Alright, again, first, exhale, inhale, Exhale, lion's breath. <laughs> Inhale, come down. One last time. First. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale. <laughs> All right, now, you can do that standing also. Depends on what you want. We're now going to move the legs in slightly, hands on the thighs. We're going to bring the chest forward. We're going to lift the seat off of the chair, all right? And you are going to pump that stomach in and out without trying to use shoulders or ribs to help you. Ready? Second set. Third set. All right, have a seat. Feet together. Inhale up. And we are going to interlace the fingers. You're going to come up to the front of the chair. All right, bring it in to the heart chakra area. And we're coming back. One, two, three. Exhale. Inhale. One, two, three. Exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale. And that engages those stomach muscles. Inhale up and exhale down. All right, so now we're going to be doing some standing poses. So we're going to start coming to the back of the chair.
All right, we come forward, we drop one hand to the side, we lift up, bring the hand down on the chair, drop the other hand down, lift up, and come back to center position. All right, so unsupported, if you want to try it, you're going to bend forward, you're going to roll. Come to the back, pushing the pelvis forward, roll to the other side, exhale, down. And dip, take it back, dip, and forward. And other way, forward, dip, take it to the back, pressing the pelvis forward, drop to the thigh, take it forward, and these are wonderful for getting all of the abdominal muscles, upper, lower, and obliques. And release down. All right, now we're gonna lift, take it over to the side, come down, scoop, and lift up, hold, exhale, scoop, lift, Lift, really lift in the upper chest and stomach area, and dip, lift, exhale, back down to center position, and now we're going to continue working um, abdominals with bird dog position and we'll be doing a variation on bird dog. So you want to come behind the chair. I'm gonna face this way so our viewers can see me. All right, we're all gonna use the same leg and arm here. So we're gonna start out taking the left leg to the back. Raise the right arm. All right, inhale. As you exhale, you are going to bend the chest toward the top of the chair, raise the leg, and extend the arm. And hold. Two, three, four. Now exhale. Bend the knee. Take the elbow. Crunch. Exhale. Nice crunch. And extend. Left leg out, right arm on the top of the chair. Exhale. And release. Exhale. I'm going to make a couple of corrections here so that we do this correctly. And straight. 
Stretch again. And exhale, elbow to knee. Stretch. Exhale, elbow to knee. And down. All right, so now let's start working on some balance poses. So again, I'll be giving you some modifications in case your balance isn't quite up to snuff. All right, we're going to take the outside leg and take it back and reverse lunge. So come to the side of your chair. That's it. Take your left leg to the back. All right. Inhale into prayer hand one. Now, if that's all you can do comfortably fine. Otherwise, if you have your balance, we're going to come into prayer hand two and hold. Elbows are up. We don't have any drop chicken wings up here. That's it. And inhale one, two, three. Exhale one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Hand on chair. Bring the foot in to the other one. We're going to take that leg out to the side, your outside leg, so it will be your left. That's right. All right, now bring the foot across the ankle into tree pose one and again we're going to go into prayer hands if this is all you can do fine now try not to lean you're leaning a little to your left i want you to straighten that body right up to center position that's it all right now release and come into prayer hand that's it all right, now, for those of you that don't trust your balance, hand here, you're gonna turn the head to the side on count three counts, bring it back to the center, and then you're gonna turn to the other side and bring it back. Remain close to the side of the chair so you can grab it in case you lose balance. Ready, and inhale, turn, one, two, three. Exhale, back to center, two, three. Inhale, turn, one, two, three. Back to center, two, three. Inhale, up, two, three. Exhale, and down. All right, so now we're going to go into tree pose position number two. Lay out, and these are, are really best done uh, bare legs and bare feet. And we've got tights and pants on that make shoes slide, so it's not optimal, but I will show you the position so you can practice at home. You bring the foot into the side of the calf. The knee is turned out. All right, here, and prayer hand one. When you have your balance, release into prayer hand two. And we're just going to hold that position. Francis, come I'm back afraid. down near here because you're bending forward. I want you up. That's it. So if that's all you can do right now, fine. Otherwise, then later on, when you have enough strength, I mean, you've got to be. I can do this, but I have to hold on the chair. Hold on. Okay. All right. Balance. And exhale down. Now, for those of you that want to try the number three modification, that's going to come here. You take the hand on the ankle, you place the shoe on the inside of the thigh, or keep it down by the calf. Work with your outside leg, your left leg. That's it. All right, and here. Pull the tummy in. Tongue against the roof of the mouth, all that helps. And balance. Hand on chair, hand on ankle, release 
laying down. All right, let's try on the other side now. Outside leg, foot comes across the ankle. Prayer hand one. Ourselves. 
Let's bring world peace, say it, by starting it in ourselves. Let's bring world peace by starting it in ourselves. Let's bring world peace by starting it in ourselves. And inhale up and Om Shanti. Thank you for joining me today, everyone. Very good work. I know we've been off a while, so it takes time to regenerate back to where we were. Yes. So um, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Theraband, 10 a.m. Senior Strength and Balance. So join me tomorrow, everyone. Have a beautiful day. Be careful if you're going out voting. Be careful of traffic, lines. Please wear your masks if you're in a line. Uh, the, that's prime stuff for catching flu, colds, COVID, yeah. whatever. It's so, so yeah, keep yourself masked if you find yourself in a line. Oh, All right, everyone, take good care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.